This is the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. Less than a third of people in developing countries own or have any official right to the land they live on. Groups like UN Habitat and its partners are working on a simple way to secure land rights for millions of people. Development experts say gaining land rights is important for reducing poverty and increasing economic growth and food production. Poor people can then use the land as security to get bank loans. Land and records can also show foreign investors that the land and the rights of those on it are legally secure. Foreign demand has increased in recent years for agricultural land in Africa, Asia, and South America. UN Habitat official Clarissa Augustinus in Nairobi, Kenya, explains why land records are so important. When it investor goes to the government and says, I want a piece of land. The government looks on their maps and the map shows that that particular piece of land is empty. And they give it to an investor. But when the investor goes and has a look at the land, he sees that it's fully occupied by a tribe or many families or whatever. Forcing the people people off the land can harm the image of the investor. It can cause what the European investors are calling reputation risk. Ownership documents like deeds and titles are rare, she says, because, because establishing property lines and recording land is expensive. You could be talking a couple of hundred dollars to create a deed or a title. And most countries can't afford to give the majority of citizens at this point in time ownership right because of the cost of creating it and most individuals can't afford to subsidize it. UN Habitat says the answer in some countries is to create a series of steps in gaining land rights, a so-called property ladder. First, people could receive a simple document or starter title to the land they are on. They would be safe from the threat of being forced off the land by the state or wealthy buyers. Higher steps would provide greater rights. Finally, a majority of a community could decide to allow individual ownership of the land. Namibia, Uganda, Tanzania, and Zambia are among the countries adopting property ladders. Ms. Augustina says Ethiopia has already provided 20 million land certificates on the lower end of the property ladder for about one dollar each. In Southeast Asia, the United States Agency for International Development is working on a project to help Timor-Leste develop property rights. The first step is an official certificate recognizing a landholder's unopposed claim. East Timor separated from Indonesia in 1999. The Indonesian army had destroyed land records 
and forced communities from their land to break up resistance. And that's the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. <laughs>